Yo, what's going on everyone? This is one Zocker Genius and in this video, we're gonna find out what what members can do in Prodigy. Right, so let's go next and see the rest of the sides. Right, so our first point is that members level up 50% faster than non-members do. You guys see over here how it says level 2? This was the first battle I did. You might be wondering, well, these two are just the same accounts. Well, no, look over here, okay? Right, let me just move out of the way. I think I'm out of the way. Wait, maybe I'm not. Okay, let me just move out of the way. And if you guys look here, it says gained five member stars. Sorry, I took the photo at the wrong time. But you guys can still see I gained five member stars. And at the level I was there, I would be halfway to level three. Because members level up 50% faster than non-members. So if you're a member, you'll leave, you'll reach level 100 a lot faster than non-members will. That's one point, okay? Okay guys, so as you guys can see, you can look here, I'm in my member count over here. It says 100, and you can see I have all of them, all of the gems, Bonfire, Shiver Chill Mountain, Barnacle Cove, wait no, Shipwreck Shore. I still remember Barnacle Cove from when it was that time, and Skywatch, and here we have the Firefly Forest gem. And then if you guys look down near the bottom of the presentation, you guys can see that over here, you guys see that over here, we have um, the warden, we have the teacher of the firefly tower there, meaning we have completed it. And if you look over here, you guys can see I have full access to the earth tower. Another thing is like non-members, we all can unlock relic rings. But yeah, this is some one thing which is in common. Another thing is that we can do bounties and we can complete bounties much quicker because we have access to getting two to three bounty points quests, okay? So let's suppose that instead of these one quests over here, we had a quest where two on this bounty board over here, we could use it. I'll show you guys, um, if you guys watched my video on the bounty video, which I made a long time ago, you guys can see that I tell you guys about these three to two um, member bounties, but still you can do that. It helps you level up a lot faster and we can buy everything from Bordy. Next thing is that we have access to all of the Dark Tower. We can battle Myra Shade and use the robe and the helmet which she has. Right, so we can unlock the entire Dark Tower all the way to level 100, not just to level 5, okay? You can only do it once, but still, it's a great way to level up, guys. Though for the Dark Tower, you will need potions. And do you know where to get potions? You'll see later on. But besides the Dark Tower, we get to open membership boxes. These are like monthly gifts given to you for being a member in which you get exclusive items which help you play Prodigy. They usually contain 6 hearts healing and 3 damage. This is pretty decent gear if you're just starting Prodigy and you get a membership box. Next is, by being a member, we can buy bigger houses and decorate them with special items only for members. These items can be bought from, can be bought from the shop or they can be gifted through a membership box. Now, if you want to buy these special items, you can buy them from Firefly Forest, Shiver Chill Mountain, or any of those other places. For a matter of fact, you can even buy them from Dino Deck Oasis, the archives, anywhere. But from the membership box, you get exclusive items like this. You see this over here, this recording frame? Well, this is exclusive. Only, only the people who unlock the membership box of that month have it, right? So as you guys can see, this is a member item, and let me just show you where we can buy these special house decorations in Prodigy. Right, okay, good thing we loaded in Bonfire Spire, because now let's click on the merchants, and if we do, we go to the shop, and you see this thing over here, it says furniture. If you click on it, you might think that the first half of it is for non-members, but if you look at this, this fire banner is for members, and then after that, all of this cool stuff is for members. Only members can get it. So this, so this is one of the places where you can buy decorations for your house. And the, the merchants are all around the place. You can buy all sorts of furniture you want from them. You can buy this one from non-members, Invisibility Clock. Whoosh. Da, 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 da. Now you guys might be wondering, okay, I've bought all this stuff, but I want to decorate my house. How do I get to my house? Well, you click on yourself, there's a button here which says go to home. Click on it, you teleport home. 
And let's suppose you want to buy a new house. Just click this button over here. You see this? Click. Now you have options. You can buy special homes themed to which elements you like best. You can buy large houses. Okay guys, so we have finally loaded up after like 10 centuries of waiting. And you guys can see these houses are pretty big. You can fit over 50 items in this. So you can buy other big houses like this in Prodigy from this place. Though it does cost um, some gold, but it's easily available. Gold is easily available. And you can move in almost any house you want. Right, so let's head back to our house. And yeah, back to the presentation we go. And right, the next thing is we have access to extra in-game mini-game boosters um, which includes the dance place and a dino dig oasis so right up here you guys can see that there's a dance place and yeah okay so here you guys can see that there's a dance place over here and there are these boosters here now these boosters all have different effect if you choose more gears then when you dance you get extra gear points Meaning you have more levels the more levels you have the easier it is to level up and get more goals Slow time makes the entire game slower so you have fat so you're faster and quick enough to click the actual number and multiplayer well that just Don't know I don't know what multiplayer does to be honest right so now let's look at Dino Dig Oasis Right so in Dino Dig Oasis these um, boosters are really helpful in helping you finish your museum and as you guys can see you just have to click on it pay professor pray the professor 500 gold and then once you do that you're into the digging arena i guess you can call it but here you have three boosts and by reading them you guys can probably guess what it does dig faster makes you dig faster obviously meaning you take less time to find fossils more fossils makes more fossils available though they're not always fossils one round i only got morph marbles for some reason and then walk faster makes you walk much faster in my opinion this is the best one you can get but up here you guys can see some of the winnings i've gotten i've gotten two tyrannosaurus bones yeah it's pretty easy to get good to get good fossils and complete your museum speaking of dino degoises See, in Dino Diglises, we all can complete our museum and we can do it quicker than non-members can if you use the boosters, guys. As you guys can see, I've been starting to work on my museum, actually, and we're actually doing pretty good. I'm about to complete my T-Rex and Stampus, or whatever you call it, statue, okay? Next thing is that we have access to morph marbles. Yeah, we guys can morph into anything we want. As you guys can see over here, there's a giant floating whale on the land. I'll call it a whale because it looks like a whale. But you can get this from Scientist Slimera, whose slime, she sells potions and morph marbles. But this is a pretty cool disguise. And plus, if you use the whale, you control a lot of people. I mean, you control a lot of people by just standing in front of the twilight wheel or something. Because they'll end up clicking on you instead of the wheel. It's a pretty good troll. Trust me, I did it. And speaking of Scientist Slimera, we have potions. These are really helpful. These give you defense against all types of elemental attacks, as well as uh, attack boost against whatever you're attacking. You have two categories of them, strong and weak ones. Right, as you guys can see, these little bottles are the weak ones, and the strong, actually good working potions are the big potions, okay? Right, and you guys can see we can all get them from Scientist Slimer, and it's not too costly. So you can easily defeat the Dark Tower with the help of potions. Trust me, it helps a lot, guys. Next is, we get to take part of monthly challenges in the arena. Well, technically we have no boost for this, but still, it's pretty cool. And with your member item, it's gonna be even cooler. Next thing is, we have access to exclusive dance moves. I mean, one exclusive dance move, which is dabbing and to a floating cloud i mean you're i mean if you go to skywatch you're on a cloud floating on a cloud but still this is pretty cool you you look taller than most prodigy players but still it's cool and the next thing is we can open member chests in battle get extra gold for, from it and buy exclusive new looks with the gold right so now you guys know why my prodigy icon had such a weird hairstyle 
Okay, I just hurt myself. But over here, you guys can see that I'm on my account. For some reason, I took off all my armor. But you guys can see there's a member chest there. I opened the member chest. And if you guys look over here, from a member chest, you have a chance of getting 200 plus gold. So you can get anywhere from 200 to 400 gold along with morph marbles, relic rings, and all sorts of stuff, okay? You can even get armor in the early stages of the game. And let's look at the last part of this, exclusive looks. So with that gold, what you guys can do is you guys can buy exclusive looks by either going to the shop or by searching it up on your own. Let me just show you. But over here, you guys can see they have a ton of member hairstyles. Most of them are member hairstyles. You can, you can change your hair color, your eye color and mostly everything available in Prodigy. You can even change your face style. Look over here. Look at this character and then look at this character. I'll just show you quickly. All right, so now, if you want to change it quickly, you can click on this. You click on your avatar. It says changes in style. You just click on it. And here you can change your hairstyle to whatever you want. You know what, I think this hairstyle is good. Let's use it. And other than this, let's use, um, what, I, what hair sh color should we have? Let's just use, nah, let's use blue, yes, this is good, this is a good hairstyle, right? So you can basically adjust it, there are a few member colors, like lemon, you can, oh, okay, this is nice. And this blue is too bright, no one would like it. Green. Okay, yeah, but you can also change your eye color, and you can change your face style, as you guys can see over here. You can have a face like upbeat. Buying this face will change your face style. Okay, so unfortunately guys, I've used up all of my gold. But I can still show you guys what the faces will look like, okay? There are a lot of them. So let me just show you all the member faces. Okay, so there are a lot of member faces. They're both for girls and boys. There are a f they're a little less for boys than there are for girls. But still, they're good hairstyles. And yeah, let's get back to our presentation. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the other way. So if you want to use the old-fashioned way of going to lamp, old-fashioned way of changing your hairstyle, go to lamp by town, go left. You see this over here that has a hairbrush and two scissors? Click on it. And you'll be taken to the exact same place. It used to be a lot different in the early stages of Prodigy, but yeah. Okay, right, so the next thing is that we can evolve pets and we can catch as many of them as we want. Along with that, we have second chances on catching pets. Here you can see I have 80 pets on the side here. As you guys can see, each one of these slides holds 20 pets and I have two over here, so I have 80 pets. We have access to, being, to be able to catch more than 10 pets, which is really good. I'm trying to catch every pet in Prodigy. We have access to catching monsters twice, so if you accidentally answer a spell wrong or you put in the wrong number, you have a second chance on catching the pet. So don't give up, okay? Next is we can spin the Twilight Wheel and Lamplight Town Wheel twice. And yeah, this gives us an increased chance of winning something compared to non-members. Go over here and click on the Lamplight Town Wheel, right? We get to spin it twice. So our next item is that members can wear exclusive robes, helmets, pets, can have exclusive pets, buddies, and all of that, uh, which non-members can. As you guys can see over here, I just have few of the items which we can get as non-members, and here are another few which are given from more marbles and other things. But yeah, these are cool. You can only buy some of these as a member. Non-members can't, and this ties up with our next one. Which is we can buy all the items, exclusive or not exclusive, from um, these merchants. For example, we have Athena over here, who will give us um, who will give us helmets, robes, shoes, wands, 
and even buddies and most of them are for members so this is a pretty good deal and you guys can buy this stuff which non-members can't and yeah feel different i guess and here are just some more of them you guys can see these items are pretty cool they do okay damage all right but next over here we can buy all of the decorations robes and shoes from harvey you guys can see i forgot the harvey part but we can see over here none of them are for non-members but none of them said that we can't buy them so we can easily buy them and there's no limits next thing is we can complete all quests from wardens merchants and yeah we can also have zonal nicknames as you guys can see here i have a list of every single member nickname you can have and yeah you can see how it's a super allen over here well it's up there as well and these are just some of the things on the side which you can get from the miner who's like a merchant though he gives you stuff for collecting frozen ice crystals and yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you all found this information sort of helpful on what members can do in prodigy and yeah if you found this information hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up and i'll catch you in my next video maybe i might even show you guys how to build a tnt cannon if this video gets one like okay so i'll catch you later one doctor genius out bye Thank you.